Morning guys, Darren at Green Pro Clean Limited, window cleaners in Nottingham and Derbyshire. Uh, today's video is a remake, uh, window cleaning wars, turf wars, and the oi, your mop patch um, type of um, fills out there. Reason for the remake, uh, it's been mentioned a couple of times, my language can be a little bit colourful, so uh, a thousand apologies to any kiddies watching, um, and uh, it's not my intention, it is the way I speak generally. Um, for no reason, and it's just the way I speak. Um, so uh, I was pulled up on this by one of my peers, um, our techie guru from our forum, um, Spruce. Shout out to Spruce, and thanks for all your technical input and help along the way. Um, I'll bang a link to the forum for you guys that still haven't found it yet down below. Um, but do turn on up, loads of useful information there. But today I want to talk about turf wars, territory patches. Um, and just to point out, in England at present, there is no patch there is no turf i talk about england because our scottish cousins have uh, got more advanced laws than us more sensible laws than us uh, in many um uh, boroughs of scotland um, councils of scotland uh, i'm not quite sure what they call them up there uh, you actually have to have a license to be a window cleaner a police checked license to be a window cleaner um, so that helps eliminate uh, a lot of the messes a lot of the less desirables um, off the bat during my time as a window cleaner um, i've come across uh, four or five of these uh these people that tend to think that they have, uh, they own a territory. Um, and uh, I'll give you my three favorite examples. And uh, number one has to go to Wheelie Bin. And uh, I call him Wheelie Bin because I can't think of anything else to call him. I was uh, canvassing, well, I wasn't canvassing, I was leaflet dropping um, NG4, Nottingham Golf 4, um, when I used to live up in Nottingham. Had my headphones in, the old uh, Brian Johnson, bit of the thunder from down under on the go. And I'm walking along, popping leaflets indoors, dum -dum 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 -dum, and I hear a voice behind me going, uh, Oi, mate! So I'm like, oh, yes sir, how can I help? As I take my headphones out, and he holds up the leaflet, What's all this about? I says, uh, oh, like it says on the leaflet, sir, window cleaning. He goes, uh, I'll clean all the windows round there. Pauses, insert your own expletives at will. Um, so, I'll clean all the windows round here. So I walked back up to him and uh, he was trying to be aggressive and give it the big one. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm a sizable fellow. I'm six foot four. Coming, uh, oh, I do top 18 stone these days, unfortunately, in the wrong way. And I walked back up to him and he came up to about here and I looked down at him and I'm like, no, you don't. And that was simply a statement of fact. That's all it was. So I turned around and walked away. Um, I don't get into physical confrontation, not my bag. So I turned around and walked away. And he proceeded to give his wheelie bin the kicking from hell. He kicked it up and down the street, having a right tantrum with it. And I'm thinking to myself, well, pff, who's picking that up? So it's not me. Carried on dropping my leaflets. Picked up uh, about four on that one street as it happened, just from a leaflet drop, which is exceedingly good return for a leaflet drop on one street. So uh, anyhow... In that NG4, there's 17,500 residential addresses alone. Um, you can find out your area's number of houses and residences and that sort of thing um, through um, post office searches and stuff like that. And um, I've always said that a good window cleaner can churn out uh, anywhere between sort of like, uh, let's see, 25, 30 houses a day. So anywhere from sort of 125 to 150 a week. Um, giving your numbers a sort of five to six hundred over a four week month if you, if you work hard every day. Um, so if I'm doing 500 houses a month in a territory that's got 17,500 houses in it, it's cleaning the other 17,000. So uh, plenty of work to go around. Number two on my list is, uh, is um, Green Van Man. And uh, he phones me up uh, one evening. I'm sitting there having my supper after a long day leafleting. And he says, uh, yeah, I've got your leaflet through my door. And I'm like, oh, hold on, sir, I'll get my biro. Uh, no, 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 don't you know I'm a window cleaner? I says, oh, to be honest, sir, I says, I probably dropped 2,000 leaflets today. I says, uh, don't know what everybody in each house does for a living yet. And he goes, uh, oh, well, well, it's the house with the dog. <laughs> and so at this point, I'm laughing at myself. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry, mate, but, you know, about one in four houses, I reckon, has got a dog around here. And I've got two myself. And uh, then he says to me, yeah, well, it's the one with the green van at the end of the drive. Now I've got it, because this was when Volkswagen had just bought out a new shaped caddy. Beautiful van. I uh, really liked the look of it, and it was in green. My company colours. So I was like, bang on. I know exactly where you are, mate. I know exactly which house. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll clean all the windows around here. So I'm just calling out to let you know and give you a friendly warning, like, you know, to, to let you know that I'll do all the windows around here. So I says, well, well hold on, mate. No, no need for any of that. But uh, let's not do this over the phone. No point shouting at each other. Let's um, 
what we can do is you've just explained to me exactly where you live uh, I know exactly which house it is so give me five minutes I'll pop my shoes on and I'll pop round and you can give me this morning in person here. oh no 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 need for that mate no need for that I was just saying so do you use traditional methods or waterfed pole methods these days how are you doing the way? and he then proceeded get my tongue working proceeded to uh, spend 20 minutes um, inquiring about how I get customers, generating business, so on and so forth, and uh, became the world's most talkative window cleaner after initially phoning me up to uh, give it the big one. Um, number one, the, the Clifton Grandpa. Uh, hope he's still alive and kicking, nice old boy. Uh, I was on a, an estate in South Nottingham called the Clifton Estates, and at the end of World War II, this was the largest social housing project in the world. I think it's something like 18,000 uh, three-bed residential semi-detached homes on one estate. Um, a lot of window cleaners don't go down there, and I don't get why there's some fantastic people down there. Uh, a lot of right to buy stuff, um, and even some council tenants are just wonderful people. So, don't know why people avoid it. But one day I'm up a ladder. This is back in my trad days, and uh, during the war. And uh, so anyway, um, I'm up a ladder, and literally on the house next door is Grandpa cleaning windows, and I'm like, morning, and he's like, uh, Oi, you're the fellow that puts them green leaflets through the door, ain't ya? I said, Yeah, that's me. And he turned around. A few of the other lads is looking for you. And I says, well, they're not looking very hard, are they? And he says to me, well, what do you mean? And I says, well, I'm six foot four. I'm in a bright green T-shirt. Not today, obviously, that's, but I was then. With my name across the back, and I'm uh, nine feet up a ladder. I says, uh, them little green cards. I've got my name, my phone number, my email address, and my Facebook page all on, uh, all on the little green card. So they're not looking that bloody hard, are they? I was, oh well j just letting you know mate just letting you know I'm like you know, cheers for that and I says to him uh, by the way I says uh, you live in that house there don't you I guess how do you know I said, well I see your car there mate I drive past it you know two three times a week he says uh, listen I've got three jobs right at the back of you that I just picked up last week Mrs Smith Mrs Brown Mrs Jones I says and uh, I haven't got time to fit them onto my round I'm just one man at the minute and I says so take them on for me says you can have those I says knock yourself out go knock on give them my apologies that I can't take care of it that I haven't got the time I says and you can have them ones I says uh, they're eight pound an ounce he goes to me eight pound an ounce I only charged four pound fifty now put this into perspective this was back in the last decade that I was charging eight pound for these three bed semis um he goes I only charged four pound fifty an ounce he says we'll go home tonight mate and double all your prices he says but I'll lose half my business I'm like and what's the problem Goes, oh yeah, as, as the penny dropped in his head. Lose half the business at half the price. It basically means that you're doing the same work. Sorry, that you're doing half the work for the same money. So winner, winner, chicken dinner, as the Americans would say. Um, so yeah, that, those are my three favourites. I've had the drive-bys with people shouting out the windows, your phone. I hope we didn't get that far because I don't know how to edit properly yet. But you're dead man, blah, 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 clean windows around here again, all of it. And as I go to walk over to the vehicle, I okay, go, what's the beef, mate? They just drive off, of course, every single time. I had that happen two or three times. But the secret to it is nobody owns patches around here. Nobody has turf, nobody has territories. Grow up, I've said it in other videos, we're not five-year-olds behind the bike sheds at school. You know, this is the real world, this is, this is life. This is how we pay our bills, this is how we put food on the table, this is how we take care of family. So, um, at the end of the day, don't let no one uh, put you off. The second you let one of them bully you off, word will be round all the bucket bobs down the pub, and, uh, and that'll be it. They'll, they'll all be trying it on with you. Um, so, just tell them a Foxtrot Oscar. Uh, I hope the phonetic alphabet is acceptable, Spruce. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, just tell them to walk on, do one. If you get any serious problems, get any real trouble, you've got the largest organised gang in the world on speed dial. You've got the Metropolitan Police. So I pick up the phone, 999. Hello, officer. It's not grassing. It's protecting yourself. It's defending yourself. It's looking after your livelihood. There's some people on forums that are like, oh, yeah, well, I'll just do them one round of it. Pfft, come on. Yeah, do me a favour, mate. How do you know you're not going to be the one getting done over? Uh, you know, we're not all as hard as we like to think we are. Um, so anyhow, yeah, call the, call the law, call the plot, have them arrested, have them dragged off. And whilst they're busy doing their three months for, you know, ASBO offences or whatever, you can go around and start picking up all their customers to boot. But, um, but yeah, so in England, currently, no turf, no patches, nobody owns a spot. Um, 
window cleaning wars is nonsense. Uh, nothing like the old school ice cream wars, but you know that's uh, a good thing for us. There is more than enough work to go around. People are always calling, oh, blooming noobs popping up everywhere. Yeah, there's still more than enough houses popping up everywhere as well. So let's not be sweating it just yet. And uh, you know, we also get it on the internet when people see uh, if we have a, a Facebook or a Twitter campaign or something. We even get messages back from people, you know, you mugs, you know, trying to still have a window cleaner's business. Why don't you off? Uh, so we're not trying to steal anyone's business, mate. You know, we're just advertising a service. And at the end of the day, if your customers are coming to us, who happen to be the most expensive in the area, what are you doing wrong? Food for thought. But uh, anyhow, guys, I'll leave you with it. Um, I look forward to the day that we do see licensing, like our Scottish cousins. Uh, hopefully it will help um, uh, raise the, the quality of the... Uh, public perception of us um, the quality of some of the lads out there some of them shouldn't be out there to be honest um, so on and so right, can't say so on and so forth been told off for that one as well I'm going to try and cut down on that but uh, anyway hope you like what we do if you do please subscribe um, hit the subscribe button below um, comments positive negative don't matter of stuff in the box below if you like the video thumbs up guys um, any uh, interesting funny tales of your window cleaning wars bang them in the box below we like a good read apart from that thanks for watching it's monday morning it's the 3rd of september where's another year gone eh it's going to be christmas tunes in the shops next month lads but uh, have a great week i'll talk to you all soon thanks for watching